Does anybody have any play immediately, or are you guys all good? I have to look. Hold on a second. I wish you could make that bigger. You can make the cards bigger. You know that, right? Yeah, I got to click on them, but yeah, I mean, I wish I could just make the initial window larger so I could see the whole thing. There's probably some clever way to do that, but Logan doesn't know it. Uh, Alex is one half of my fucking uh, smart tech team. Pete is the other half. Between those two, they have all the fucking skills and brains and shit, and I am the monkey pounding on the keyboard with a bone. I am playing self-improvement. I have no idea what to use on. I would use it on uh, your highest skill that's under 90%, because they're a pain in the ass to get it. People do as a living. Huh? It has to be a skill that people do as a living. Yeah, don't you have those? Alex doesn't have many skills that people can do as a living. Oh. Carpenter? <coughs> that kind of oh no no no! Actually, you know what? Carpentry. Good, good call. Uh, Alex, Alex fucking knows Alex Kinley maybe too well. Carpentry. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. All right. So no other no reds. Cool. You guys all wake up. You're in separate rooms. Uh, you can hear a far-off grandfather clock slowly ticking away. It smells clean, uh, although kind of old and faded and such. Like, uh, you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> clean, but old and faded. Uh, it looks like you're kind of in an old, each of you is in an old-fashioned bedroom. You have the distinct impression that your two buddies are close. So I recognize mm. both. Yes, you're in the, uh, get, yes, exactly. Uh, what kind of decor is it like? Uh, kind of nineteen fifty ish, nineteen fifty ish, summer ish decor. Mm. Is that and a that I can look outside? No problem. Just as you go look outside, you begin to hear what sounds like an air raid siren. You uh, you've been to Burlington before, right? No, nope. first time. Nice. Oh, cards, cards, then, arrow cards. Yep. Uh, please make a note that uh, each I of you... Got, I got two uh, last session for this. If I'm in the same place, or is this a new place? Is this Burlington? You, you got yours for Burlington? I don't know if I was in Burlington or not. I went through the Twilight Door. Oh, yes, yes. That and I got two cards. Office. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> okay, yeah. I was, I was confused by the accountant's office. So, yes, you did get yours for Burlington. Well done, you. So... Um, Alex, you pick up, let's see, <laughs> the card, that's fucked up, Death and the Ace of Cups. I, 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 uh, I, I did have a question, Logan. You said this was the, the Raider White uh, tarot deck? Correct. Uh, appearance? Okay. Oh, my goodness, I can't believe I got there. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. And, uh, so, uh, yes, as you're looking outside uh, and you, you begin to hear the of the air raid siren going off, you begin to see uh, people. It looks like kind of a 1950s town. Actually, let me give you a map also. Uh, map. Yes. And uh, it looks like there's like a lot of 1950s vehicles and such parked around. Oops. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, on this map, and this is, yeah, it's a holdover map. It's not a bubble map. You're at the bed and breakfast, which is on the eastern end of town. Mm. Near the forest. Yeah. Eastern end of, does it say? Uh, on right? main, main Street, eastern end of town. Uh, far right side of the bed. Oh, that's it. Yep. Um, you look out, you can see like a library and possibly a fire station and stuff from where you're at. And you see, uh, uh <laughs> some of the, the people, uh, from the, the town are starting to slowly walk east toward the forest. They don't seem to be in a hurry or anything like that. They're just kind of walking. Uh, 
Well, Everybody dressed and, in 1950s clothes. It looks like the kind of thing you'd see on an old sitcom, like the I Love Lucy or something like that. That kind of clothes. Oh, uh, this is disgusting. Yes. All right. I'm going to go look for the others since you said <laughs> I feel them nearby. It's super easy to find them. You just pretty much knock on two doors and uh, you guys hear knocking and stuff. Uh, everybody has uh, whatever gear that they had on them before. It's like in your room and stuff, and you were in the bed in uh, ridiculous striped pajamas, possibly with a night cap on, an actual uh, night cap. Is our previous clothing that we were wearing available? Yes, it's it's uh, hung up neatly. All right. Oh, I need to put that on as well. That will change then. I, think, I figure everybody wants to change back into their normal clothes <laughs> rather. Than, uh, although, Matt, if you want to go adventuring in these striped pajamas, of course you are welcome yes, to do so. Done. Um, <laughs> so, uh, although Matt does have like uh, a backpack that has like uh, the bright red backpack and stuff like that, um, as well as. Uh, uh, I think he's still got a two-handed sword scabbard because that uh, uh, the sword is the scabbard doesn't go oh, with yeah, the sword. Yeah, scabbard, yeah. yeah, just the scabbard uh, for those awkward times when you don't repocket it. But uh, yeah, you guys are all together in the hallway. In the hallway itself is a, it looks like a very old-fashioned grandfather clock. If anybody has history, there I do. Free to roll it. Actually, everybody has history. What am I talking about? Yeah, you might as well. yeah have a go. Uh, is, I have, this is just regular history, yes? Uh huh. Natural history or anything like that? Uh huh. Yeah. This was obviously made five days ago. Oh. Down the road. Success. Mr. Walters. Do you, like, do you like the new character sheet thing there, Corey? I do. I, I tested it out a, a little earlier. It's it's pretty nifty. Mm -hmm. That that's all Alex is fucking doing there, because I have nowhere close to the. Uh, fantastic. Uh, Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. I was I had impressed. Day old that. cold pizza breakfast. Oh champion. yeah. It's the breakfast of champions. Well, I'm trying to get you guys over to. <laughs> I uh, I still am wearing the 1950s asylum doctor's clothing, because <laughs> and I have a mop handle as well that uh, mop I left handle. with. Yeah, that's like you know this. I guess you would call it a like a staff, but it's really just the handle for a mop. You know, I unscrewed it from the mop end, and well, I have. Hey, uh, it, it's I, a big I, stick. I, Comes in handy sometimes. <laughs> You can tell that the... Adding a backpack. Huh? Um, just ask me, Alex, how much room did you have in your backpack? Uh, I have no idea where this came from. Oh. I, I seriously have no idea. I've never worn a backpack. Use it? Actually, you have been wearing a red backpack when you guys were doing your Arctic exploration. Well, maybe the other guys did. I didn't. <laughs> Oh, no, you needed to because you, you're the strongest guy and it had stuff in it you wanted, like tents, sleeping bags. Right. I don't think I would have been wearing it at the halfway in. Oh, well, you can dump it. That's fine. Oh, I can't even find the picture of the grandfather clock. Okay, those who made it, it's a uh, uh, French Louis the <coughs> Fort, Louis XIV uh, uh, time period grandfather clock. Um, ha this this place is kind of like an old dignified um, uh, place that you know, like a, a bed and breakfast type thing. But this here is kind of like having the Mona Lisa hung up in yeah. a normal person's home. It, okay. it might be worth what the whole place is. Does anybody have appraisal skill? I actually have a card for appraisal Ooh. for some. A silly reason for the etiquette. Yeah. Uh, here it is. I, I will I will play it and roll an appraisal. How about that? Lovely. I have no other reason to hold on to that card, so hmm. that would be plus twenty percent. So let me roll that here. 
Do, 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 do. Appraisal. Multiplier. Modifier 20. Submit. Yeah, everybody can try appraisal if they want. Hmm. Yeah. Deal. Okay, I deal. I succeeded. Apparently the card came in fucking handy there for getting you a check, Corey. Hey. Love these outputs. Wow, really? Club a bit. Nice. Uh, yes, the the grandfather clock itself. I, I'm not going to say it's worth what the whole building is, but it's definitely worth quite a fucking bit of money, especially compared yeah. to a building. <laughs> yeah, it's it's about as tall as you guys are. Uh, it looks like a simple case. You can see the pendulum thing in there and stuff. And. Hmm. And. And. Oh, you're wanting to take it with no, you? No, I'm waiting. Oh. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that's that's what you notice about the grandfather clock. So have either of you been here before? Because this is not the air raid siren outside. Hello, new people uh, that I do not know your names. My oh, apologies. Okay. Uh, I left the other place with two totally different people. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, uh, I am Dr. Stephen Yang. I look about a 40-ish uh, Asian American, uh, you know, average height, average build. Uh, and I'm currently dressed in a, a doctor's uniform around the 1950-ish uh, time period. Uh, Always had Yes, well, uh, I have a stethoscope and everything. I'm a psychologist, uh, not a <laughs> medical doctor. Uh, <laughs> although I do have some some medicine training, but uh, but my my focus is uh, psychology. Uh, I also am a a, a part time uh, uh, occult researcher and a paranormal investigator. But that's more of a hobby than it is a, a focus. Uh, I mostly try and help people. Uh, when I do my paranormal investigation, I try and help them understand that uh, generally their problems are more psychological and not actually supernatural. So I find I that it fits in well with my my uh, practice. I may have two new female patients for you. Oh, actually, excellent. What do you mean three female? female Yourself is you a patient, Alex. You need to see him. And now I'm fine. I'm no, very not. healthy. I'm more healthy. Psychologically, uh, look, I have been for a long time. When you have a moment, please just have a word with him. He needs help. No, really, <laughs> I am a lot better. I've done stuff lately that has made me very, very, very sane. I hold In, up the phone to you, you, place. <laughs> you seem very, uh, very stable. And I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. What was your name? Uh, my name is Alex. Alex Kinley. Alex. Kinley. Oh, my name's uh, Aeolus. But most people call me Freddy, because apparently Aeolus is too difficult for some people. Freddy um, or Aeolus? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I think I was calling uh, you Freddy last time. Yeah, Freddy, Aeolus. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> could, you, could you describe uh, your character, Alex? Um, I'm about average height. Um, look quite well defined. I've got very short, kind of red hair. Very Irish looking. Very Some real looking too. Fights. Got crooked nose and um but he's quite rugged, quite quite dashing. Um and he's dressed at the moment. I do that myself. <laughs> uh could Freddie describe his character please? Oh sorry. Um, I should oh. also mention that I look super real. Very real. Very real. Real Solid, like... stable. Like he he oh. he has a presence to him, like he's there type of thing. If that makes sense, yeah, I'm sure you've met somebody like that, the uh, commanding presence type thing. I gotcha. I gotcha. So cool. I'm uh, I'm in my like mid twenties, somewhere um, kind of on the leaner side. Not quite skinny, but not really muscular or anything. Um, I predominantly wear pure black. Like leather and 
just black everything. Uh, I have um cut off black fingerless gloves uh, with uh, black um, sunglasses on that I wear most of the time. And um, on the side of my belt or my side, basically, I have a sword inside of a scabbard and I'm generally lugging around a few laptops and uh, some phones and stuff like that. Hmm. By the way, at some point, if Corey and uh, um, Freddie or Alex wish to update their their pictures in Roll20 with their character pictures. I did. Oh, oh I did. <laughs> Put it in my bio. I don't know how to make it my picture down there. I have no idea. I am. Yeah, I sure it's, well it's very hard to tell what my character is age wise. Very hard to tell. It's kind of like uh, I would kind of put in maybe early to mid thirties, but I'm not sure. Oh, Alex, how old are you? Probably younger. I'm not sure. Oh, and uh, and Alex, when you held the cell phone in front of my face, I yeah. just went, demons. <laughs> I uh. <laughs> I put a picture of me in the in the main window on there. If you want to help like that. What it look like there? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so, oh, Alex, a bit of a bare knuckle boxer, are you? A, oh, I've had my time. Yes. <laughs> like my I enjoy, uh, of the uh, the blood dome. Oh, I don't know if you've been no, I home, haven't. But, uh, no, I was no. the inventor of the blood dome. Yes. Yeah. We have the yeah. shock bum fights there. Very popular. <laughs> <laughs> the, the look on uh, on Freddy's face, like what the fuck. Yes. Well, welcome to the only campaign where somebody briefs you and you're not sure if they're fucking with you or not. No, I have a, I have a bit of fight training myself. Uh, my family kind of insisted uh, when I was growing up, but uh, I do appreciate. The uh, the pugilistic arts, if you will. Ah, brilliant. It shows it shows Alex looking at him and imagining him in the fucking blood dome with you know all bloody and shit, <laughs> fighting some homeless dude. Yeah. I could make some money on this. <laughs> now that I can actually have money for him. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah. Hey, you guys continue to hear the the uh, siren. Uh, outside, hmm. we should go and investigate. Uh, well, wait, 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 what, Alex? You've been here before, right? What is that? Many times. There's some strange goings on, going on, going, going on, going on. Can you be more specific? I will do a <clears throat> a briefing. It won't, well, it won't be quite. Uh, Joshua McKay briefing, but it might not be as bad as, say, a Mildred Bungard briefing. <laughs> okay, well, uh, can I can I ask a couple questions before you sure. launch in the briefing there? Uh, since I'm kind of new to all this, so yep. uh, when I when I woke up, uh, <coughs> seemingly yesterday, um, I was in an, an asylum that seemed more like a almost like a dreamscape than an actual physical place. Uh huh. Uh, we we went through there. Most of the people in there seem to be from the 1950s era. Mm -hmm. uh, verified that through some questioning and such. Uh, so that could possibly be tied into this thing that we're in now. But uh, I couldn't tell if it was actually a dream or, or if it was real or what exactly oh. was going on. Um, oh, but then we there was this riddle about a twilight door, and then we kind of found the door, and we figured out we needed to paint it. Then we kind of went through the door, and then I woke up here. So I'm not exactly sure what my role in all of this is. If I'm in someone else's dream, or if this is my dream, or if this is some sort of manifestation, or if I'm actually participating in some sort of real thing. I'm not sure, but. Uh, can you give me a kind of a general clue as to sort of what we're all doing here? Right. What are those briefings coming up? Oh my. <laughs> Man, I need so, to for this. We, we, are, we, we are uh, 
uh, what is referred to as doors. So uh, we are uh, kind of explorers in these lands. There are, there are many of them, many zones. Um, we don't know really quite yet like what it's all about, but we kind of found a place that seems to be more real than any of the other places. So we think a lot of these places might be what we refer to as like shadows. Um, so they are kind of pockets, pocket shadows of different realities. Could uh, not to mess with you, but it could just be like a, a, a massive game for some really powerful beings. Um, but basically, we are we are here. There are many of us. There are lots of doors. They they explore the different zones. It's kind of like a game. They've got to collect. Some of them go and collect certain things from different zones, and once they get them all together, they can make something that does something special. Um, there are powers to be found and games. There are loads of different stuff. Um, so that's that's our basically our lives here. Is we we travel zones, we explore, we help people out, we hurt people if they deserve it, and all of the above. Is it so? Is it kind of like a multiverse thing? Like, uh, yeah, I, I have poked into some, <coughs> so, you know, it's. I mean, it could be other dimensions, I guess, or other universes, and we're just traveling a veil between them all, maybe, and they're connected somehow through some particular string of fate. Yeah. Ha yeah. Have, have you ever found a, a duplicate of yourself in any of these other areas? Oh, good question, but um, no, not not of yet. But we do know of. Um, so there is a very powerful bad guy at the moment. We are trying to take down called Zog, and we believe that the entity we are trying to destroy here is a shadow of his real self. Oh, Zog. Okay, well that yeah. makes sense. Uh, there was this big long, sort of. Uh, chain of riddles that we got while we were in the asylum and Zog featured in this riddle. Yep. Um, I, I'm sure you already know it, so it probably would be pointless going over it. I don't know if it pertained to that particular area exactly. or if yeah. it was an overall guidance, but... Uh, no, exactly. We we, um, we did actually embark on the same uh, trip as you, and we found all the words and put, uh, kind of put together the it, it's a jumbled set of words, so we, we've kind of pieced together a couple of different options of what we think it might pertain to say. But yeah, it certainly does reference Zog, which is uh, an enemy that is popping up a lot, and a lot more lately. So um, we are actively trying to do a lot to take him down, because I think the longer we leave it, um, the, the worse it's going to be for us. Uh, hey Logan, does the Zog feature oh, in? Got, uh, he's asking me quite early. Wow. Yeah, he just got up and left and decided to say, "Oh, I'm going to go and leave for a second. <laughs> oh, you're doing your breathing. I was I was going to ask if Zog uh, featured in in any um, occult lore or Cthulhu mythos or arts or anything. I have a lot of those skills, so really. Uh, I'll, oh yeah, I'll let you ask him when he gets back. I'm yeah, scared. no, no, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, okay, but, so we're explorers, yeah. and we kind of try and help people where we find that people need help. Yeah. We try to figure out what this Zog yeah. person is all about, and sort of maybe get them in line or defeat them. Or so, yeah. The important thing, thing. To, the, the important thing to know is there are different. There are loads of different zones. They all vary drastically and they all constantly change so what was potentially when when like when we first got here um one of the one of the main areas we 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 basically visited a lot we called it red carpet land because in it we were all actors and everyone and a lot of people were actors and, and everyone who was actors were also like highlanders so we all kind of run around and basically like fought together and it you know we would whittle it down to the last one and then there would be a big prize and we we would we would heal quicker if we got hurt all of that 
But then I'm, I'm familiar with the I'm Highlander not. scenario. <laughs> yeah, I've tried, so I mean that's changed a lot because the the entity that was giving given that power, which was the which was the white AI, and that's a whole new thing to go into. There are colored AIs around this place. So you've got white AI, brown AI, indigo, yellow AI. These are all basically beings of immense power that have machinations against each other or against different, you know, they have different things that they follow. So the white AI was very much a kind of um, being of, uh, they liked, they liked the, the whole, the acting and, and the lamp tune. So, you know, what you would try and do is spread that through the zone. So if you went to another zone and you were a servitor of AI white, you would try and say open up acting schools and stuff like that to spread this AI's power to different zones. Um, but now since then, that white AI has kind of gone bye bye, and that zone has drastically changed. And now basically, it's, it's Gotham City. So um, it, it, there's a lot going on. Everything oh. changes constantly. <laughs> so what? Hey, you was one one zone was once something it could be completely different next week or next month or next year also, but you but you do know that they're, they're same zones they just change aesthetic yeah yeah, yeah. well again it is like if you've been there and you go back there you will, you'll probably recognize the changes if it has changed what were you saying alex, alex? i mean just to warn you uh the zones some of them have, um, well, th there's no way of really sugarcoating this. They have zombies and vampires and all sorts of strange things that want to rip your face off. So uh, if you see one of those, just, it, it's real. You're not dreaming. It, it will hurt you. Just, yeah. I, I mean, I do, I do have some exposure to, <coughs> to real horrors. I mean, it's... I know it's not all pretend, you know, uh, but uh, but those are very rare where I come from. So, uh, yeah, I don't see a lot of those. Logan, I was going to ask you if Zog featured in any uh, occult lore, Cthulhu mythos, or religion, or any of those things. That's a great question. Um, not that you are familiar with from your background and such. Gotcha. But uh, yeah. Uh, uh, as I made a note of in the thing, the siren has stopped, which is great because, you know, in movies, they can only have the red alert thing go for a few pops before it stops, you know. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, okay. I think I, I'm following you so far. Um, it's a lot to take in. No, oh, yeah. There you go. And you switch us back to the other map. And yeah. Oh, uh, real quick before I do, that's the grandfather clock there. It's uh, on the left side of the page about midway down. You'd like uh, to see it? Oh, yeah. See it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, wow, it is fancy. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to take a picture of it with my phone. Just Pardon? Oh, sure. Um, I will check on something here real quick. Uh, Burlington, give me a second. Attempt to take a picture. Yes, no problem. Your tech seems to be working. Of course, you have no cell phone signal, but the camera function, yeah. no problem. Yeah. Quick edit. Okay. I'm going. I'm going to turn on the heat, man. I'm starting to get <laughs> fucking cold. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's cool. I'm sure this is not going to mean, unfortunately, a lot to you, Doc, but um, and I'm sure even uh, Freddie, you might not, you'll probably get some of this stuff, but not all of it, but I'll give you a quick recap of what we've been doing lately <laughs> and how things have changed. So um, first off, in the red carpet land, so Goth, what we call now called Gotham, People are starting to get superpowers, but they're not very good superpowers. <laughs> uh, well, not at the moment, anyway. They're like silly powers, like Fart Man or, you know, Box Girl. Yeah, Box Girl. <laughs> um, but people basically are becoming 
like the ones that are getting superpowers, there's a magical residual effect to them. Oh, by the way, Freddy, my eyes are no longer growing blue, uh, yellow. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I know about that. Yeah. yeah. So, um, basically, these these people are getting these superpowers uh, through a magical way. Uh, so, when I had the the, the yellow AI, uh, AI power, I was getting fucked with a lot in that, in that place. Yeah. <laughs> I had to leave very quickly. Cause like, literally? Or uh, like, like Basically, one in 50 people in a city was trying to kill me on site. Oh, okay. Because they had an urge to. So um, I had to leave, but so that that that's kind of the main thing that's going on there. Oh, there's a new asylum that's opening up in uh, <laughs> Gotham, which is obviously no no surprise. Um, there are okay, so the white AI, which I was talking about earlier, that has these <laughs> priestesses. So a, a bunch of them have transformed into some like nasty creatures who basically have eyes in the palm of their hands. And they were running around terrorizing people in Gotham until Maddie started deciding that she was going to kill them. So Maddie is the <laughs> ex-girlfriend of uh, Mildred, who is one of the other doors that we go, we walk, we, we explore with. Um, so she's kind of gone rogue, and she, she's just killing these these white AI servitor creatures. Uh, <laughs> I mean, is that oh god, this is so hard. Is that so, bad thing or a good thing? Yeah, so that, that I think that's the main thing that's going on in Gotham. Uh, I think Beastkin Land is kind of normal at the moment. There's nothing major going on there. Um, so when when we were when we were going through the asylum that you you um, woke up in doc we found two women there that you probably wouldn't have noticed because you don't know mildred but there was two women that we found there that looked like a older version of of maddie that's basically oh my god maddie looks like mildred right <laughs> or how mildred used to look so she, she, these women look like an older and younger version of Maddie. So we brought them here, and one of them, as you probably noticed, Doc was was displaying some rather unusual powers, um, making fields appear in in what should just be a normal room. Um, I did pull up yes. on that. Really. Yeah. Yes, I did. <clears throat> so these. These women are rather disturbed at the moment. Uh, one that we believe might be the child of M Maddie. I don't even know to start here. The child of Mildred, Maddie, possibly me, and the, a the white AI. Don't ask. What? what? She's, <laughs> she is um, currently in a cryo chamber somewhere okay. safe but okay. eventually doc we might have you take a look at her because she is very mentally unstable um which so is mildred she, she so, is the one who who could create the the or who created the field yes room yes i, I did some analysis of the field room to identify the psychological traits of the person who manifested the field room, so okay. I might be able to help there. I was successful, okay. so I could potentially help. Brilliant, brilliant. The um, expression on Alex's face, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I love these briefings. Oh, it is, it's really hard. When, I've been playing solidly for four days, so I've got a lot here I'm trying to get in. It's not even like 2% of what's going on. <laughs> so... Uh, she's on ice at the moment. In a, 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 there was no real safe place to leave her. Being, she had these powers manifesting at random times. So um, we came up with the idea of putting her on ice. That way, she's safe. Other people around her are safe. So she's good until we can 
trying to work out what's going on. Uh, with that. Where did you put it exactly? It's in a cryo chamber somewhere. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna give the details because we kind of want to keep the the place secret. Uh, oh, I see how it is. Fine. Oh, it's not like that. It's just I think the fewer fewer people knowing is better. I, don't worry, I'm just messing with you. That makes sense. I know what Logan's like. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly if, if the other AIs could listen in, or you're not even really sure about oh, yeah. all By the, the way, surveillance methodology it's, being in it's use here. So. flying around, don't trust it. The water? Don't, don't trust the gnomes. Oh, gnomes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just, Fair enough. Uh, let's move on. So let me. <laughs> right. So. Um, the MMO land, which is interesting place at the moment. <laughs> so um, we went there. We went to the lizard people, and we basically formed an alliance with them. Then we went to the goblins, and we formed an alliance with them. So if you guys go there, just be <laughs> see Corey's face. Like, where were they? Large goblins or small <laughs> goblins? This, this is a zone that was basically set on an on an MMO game. Yeah, and I know, but the but but goblins. Yeah, yeah, I know. Were they, were they large goblins or small goblins? They were small goblins. Oh, dangerous! <laughs> yeah. Corey has too much experience oh. with Logan's goblins to be trusting. <laughs> yeah, I'll, let me. Right. I'll teach you a way to incite them to to madness. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so, game uh, symbols, it's a whole thing. So, so we made we made the uh, packs with them. We helped them both uh, achieve something they wanted achieving. Um, there is a Shogoth, which is a rather nasty creature that is currently trapped between the the Whirlpool portal, which is between Burlington and MMO Land. So be very <laughs> careful if you're using the. Um, <laughs> That portal because there's a big shovel off in there. Um, Can you, uh, what, what's a shovel? What's the word? Is that or something? What is it? The what? It, what's it? What's the shovel? Yeah. It's a big blobby entity with lots of mouths and eyes and protrusions and. It's horrible. It's horrible. Oh, They're horrible. really notoriously right. hard to kill. Right. And that's why we haven't killed them yet. Um, so there's the, the there's the, that thing there. There was a there was a temple to, to the deep ones that are, we believe maybe where the shovels came from. I mean, in MMO land. Sorry. In MMO land or in yes. Arlington. MMO land. So um, there's a temple. We haven't gone in the temple yet because it, it could be quite dangerous. But we believe that there's also a Hydra, and <laughs> uh, a Hydra, and what was the other thing? A Kraken. They're, they're basically, MMO land is just rifled with big, nasty creatures at the moment. Uh, but we think the Shogoth might have killed them off because it's the big daddy in that land. It, it nearly, I think it killed, it nearly killed a dragon. Uh, I don't know. There was a dragon looking for me, and it tried to go through the portal. And the truck off is like, "Fuck you! You ain't going nowhere. I'm going to become your scarf and strangle you to death," which was hilarious. So they were having this big fight, and we got the hell out of there. Um, so when we came back, the dragon wasn't there. The shock off was still there, so we guessed the the, the dragon one. Um, I think that's pretty much MMO land. <laughs> but uh, just, just one question about MMO land. Yeah. Do you know if it's actually based off a game that you know, or is it just an MMO? Just, I think it's just a general MMO. I haven't, I haven't managed to ascertain. Well, I wouldn't know because I don't play computer games because I don't. <laughs> mm. I, I really... Are there any? Uh, uh, did you run into any druids there? Just, just I know uh, that seems like an odd question. I just. It yeah, out there. No, I do not believe we've run into any druids yet. Lots of mages, no druids. Good. Um, That's a good thing. <laughs> Corey still has flashbacks of well, that part of the campaign. Uh, yeah. Staying away from them. Right. <laughs> so, that was, I wish that was recorded. So People would play Burlington, that. We've, um, 
there's, there's two portals that are close to each other. One of them is inactive at the moment. That's where Zog came through when he attacked Burlington with his uh, army of dinosaur riding barbarians. Uh, the other portal that's close by, uh, that seems to be kind of taken over by Morlocks. So there's a, now a big structure in Burlington that has a big tunnel in it. You can drive a car down, and that will take you down to basically Morlock land. And then if you keep going through that, you will eventually get to um, uh Cyberpunk Los Angeles, or whatever we called it last time. I think you were there, Freddy, weren't you? Uh, Did you not go there? Oh, crap. Okay. All right. Oh, by the way, that's really weird what's going on there as well. <laughs> Is anything not weird? No, everything's weird. Everything's just going tipsy topsy turvy at the moment. It's just nuts. Um, I'm going to leave the... I'm, I don't want to go too much, though. I think we're not going to hit Cyberpunk Los Angeles, so I'm not going to bother with that yet. We'll, we'll go back to that. Uh, um, so can you put that <coughs> to the siren that's kind of been blaring this whole time? What's no, no, mean? it stopped. It stopped a while ago during the briefing. Yeah. Um, so what's so that about, then? To finish off in Burlington... Um, You've never heard this before, this weird siren. Uh, that yeah, this heard. is new, so something weird's going on. Mm -hmm. um, but there's oh, the Morlock okay. place in Burlington now that's new. Um, we've gone through to the... Uh, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. I, I, uh, I have a play immediately. Sorry. Okay. Mm. Uh, it is uh, everyone but me discards their cards and refills their hands. Eh, eh. That kind of sucks, that one. Immediately. Which, which card is that, Corey? Or no, no, wait. It's a Soul Survivor. Ah, then they just discard their cards. Oh, oh, right, right, right. They just discard. I sorry, like, guys. I don't remember having that card. I'm sorry. Oh, well. That's right. Sorry, that popped in there. Hmm. Uh, but I do. Maybe I can help out if somebody needs cards because I have a dissemination. Yeah, you should be down to three cards, uh, Corey, and then uh, yeah, you yeah. start disseminating. Yeah, I'm uh, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm working on that now. I just noticed my hand had grown. So. Oh yeah, well I, I like to slip people cards when they're saying smart shit or something. Yeah, dissemination would probably be a good play. Uh, yeah, I had one, but yeah, I didn't find it. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna disseminate, uh, and I'm gonna give you each a card. Cool. I, I have a hive mind and a get out of jail free. So <laughs> not bad. So <laughs> I'll start with. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. There you go, and. Uh, there you go. All right. Let me get rid of this. And I think I, I refill after that, right? Yeah. I think so. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. I got close here, buddy. Character sheet in the way. Okay. Oh, well, sorry. Sorry to derail there. No, that's right. All right. Okay. Hard We're good. All right. Excellent. All right. No reds. Okay. Great. Uh, the bit I was going to say next, I'm going to leave out because I think that's potential other adventure for you guys later on. So I'm not going to cover what we did on one day. Um, <laughs> the other thing to know is we found um, so we found a zone that is um, I'm just going to call it the Slee Stack Zone or the Lost. Uh, <laughs> lost zone. That's probably the best thing to call it. Basically, found a, pl a place. It's very silly. It's got talking <laughs> heads, sleeve stacked heads, and it's got chambers that teleport you to people's living rooms. Um, but what is important is there we found uh, one of Zog's general space. So Zog 
by the way, Zorg has red eyes, so we think he might be either connected to or possibly the red AI, which we haven't come across yet. So, but um, so the zone, the zone we found has one of his three generals base. So he's got three generals. He's got a dark-skinned lady with a nasty sword. He's got this kind of mechanical four-armed guy. And then he's got um, this guy with this kind of laughing mask on, who you don't know what his face is. So we've ascertained that we have to kill all three of those generals before Zog will show himself. So it's basically we have to lure him out by killing his generals. Um, <coughs> so we found the base with the guy with the four arms. What they're doing is capturing dinosaurs, putting cybernetic implants in them, so they basically work for Zorg's army. Um, but the compound is huge. It's got lots of people there, like 150 odd people, uh, guards and trip wires and lasers and trip wire lasers and everything you could possibly imagine. So um, we, we thought the best route of action was to get a crap load of snipers and try and take the guy out in one kind of alpha volley. Unfortunately, no one uses sniper rifles, so we've either got to all train in sniper rifles or find like really good sniper rifle snipers and pay them. Um, so that's something we've got to do eventually, but probably not today. So um, I'm, I'm just going to throw this out here, and I know yeah. I haven't been around or whatever. Sure. But if they're using implants to sort of control the dinosaurs, the like sort of uh, con uh, mentally control them to work for Zog's armies, wouldn't like devising a way to hack that programming be a more <laughs> efficient route? It's, it's so funny how you and Chris think like who stomp on everybody that they're trying to implant on. Yeah. I mean, yeah. a herd of angry dinosaurs seems slightly more dangerous than a bunch of sniper rifles. I'm just saying, That's, I'm throwing it out there. Yeah, that, that went through my head, but the problem is, yeah, we would need to get one of those controls and that's not so easy the so we thing is, a dinosaur with an implant yeah the funny yeah. thing is is that in the the other party i was with when we went to go and see this uh the other day the doc in that group had the exact same idea as you did and we thought boy wouldn't it be good if we had freddy because he could probably do that so yeah it, it's a possibility but it still means you'd have to get close um Unless you can remote hack it, I mean, it depends what it is. But is it just yeah? Well, that's box, or what is it? I don't know. That's the problem. We we have no idea. So, so why did Zog attack? <coughs> why did why did Zog attack here? Um, of all the places of all the different zones, why did Zog feel the need to raid this place? Oh, we we don't believe this is the only zone. Um, we, we believe that, so Zog apparently is somehow connected with uh, Korn, so basically the Blood God. So, oh, okay, from Warhammer? Yeah. I mean, out of game. Warhammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we, we kind of get a feeling that his powers derive from basically just, just conquering different places. So I think this is not the only zone. There are other zones. It's just this one has an immediate gate to the zone where his general, one of his generals, was. So it's probably just, um, just it, it's just by proximity. So I think it was just the next zone that they could attack. Um, so yeah, I think it's one of those things where they'll just. Did you um, order anything, Matt? No. Ah. Um, if we could figure out, so if we could figure out uh, another zone that he or any of his generals might be raiding with these dinosaurs, and we, we don't necessarily participate, but if there's a like one of the dinosaurs goes down in the raid or something like that, we'd have a, a easily accessible, you know, rig that we could access and not jeopardize ourselves. That's but true. we would have to know. 
where he's going to go or where any of his generals are going to go. That's mm -hmm. a tricky part, too. Is there any way to communicate between zones? Like, yeah. like if, if we had other explorers in other zones, could we talk to them somehow? Like, oh, yeah. I see you have phones. Can you, like, call them? Um, there is. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. You want right. Know, yeah. um, right. So there are, first off, there are, um, there are barber shops that are run by, um, Basically, it's the same entity, but he looks different in different zones. His name is Clem. So, as long as a place has a barber shop and you know of another zone and its name, you can you can go and get a shave, a shave, and then you he'll say, "Where do you want to go?" And you just say, "Red carpet land," and then he's going to put a wet towel over your face. When he takes it off, you'll be in that new zone. Mm -hmm. Memory roll from Alex for additional piece of information. Well, they have to have gone there first. Carry on. Yeah, but one, I've taken people to a place where they haven't been before. True. So as long as they're traveling with someone that has been there, then. Okay. All right, so like, as long as you're traveling with someone who's been to that zone, you can go to that zone. Once you've been to that zone, you can then go back to that zone. But the but as far as you know, there's no easy way to com just straight up communicate. No, 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 there is. Well, yeah, no, 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 no. That's what I was going to get. Yeah. So yeah. If we, if I'm going to, I'm going to take you soon to another zone. Yeah. And there we have these communicators that will allow you to communicate to other doors in our group and ask them questions yeah. and. Yeah. They're wearing a, like a bracelet thing. Yeah. Well, I'm the only one wearing it because ah, I right. So, right. Yeah. I, could, I could wear one now, but I still like the old fashioned way of doing it. Okay. Making other people post stuff for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can probably um, pick one up for you at some point. I think that would be probably very handy. Yeah, yeah. We, we can go and do that right now and knock it out quickly. Mm -hmm. um, do that once I finish the briefing. I'm, I'm close. Unless there's a lot to take in at once. I'm but close. <laughs> I'm close to being done. So there is um, resolve, generals. Oh, yeah. Simple thing is, there's one more thing to, to know. Um, we found the halfway house. A halfway house is another zone run by a very powerful being um, where a lot of doors go there. So it's kind of like a safe zone for doors to meet and to chat because this guy will not um, abide violence of any types. Um, he's kind of one of these beings. If, if there's any violence, he can just be like, you leave and you'll just get sucked out of the zone. So, um, like a a, yeah. It's all, it's all, it's all made to look like a uh, Roman debauchery house. So you've got to dress the part. Um, so yeah, we've got to dress like Romans, basically. Um, and we can go there at any point and ask questions to uh, any of the other doors if you, if you have anything you want to try and find out. It's a good place to go. So I think that's everything I need to cover for now. <sighs> That was epic breathing that was. Take two cards, Matt. Huh? Take two cards. Take new cards. Two cards. Two cards. Sorry, what were you saying, Alex? No, no, nothing. Okay. Just saying that's a good breathing, but for now. Well, this is, this is a good good thing to do. Um, yeah. We'll quickly do this, and then it, it also allows the doc to, um, to get a grip for this. So we will quickly go to Clem's if it's open you guys head over you're walking you go out of the uh bed and breakfast the front door of the bed and breakfast is open you walk out onto the street and you notice other businesses doors are open there's a couple of stop cars on the street their doors are open there's no people around you guys walk through the deserted town over to find the only person who is still in the town 
who's a guy with big mutton chops named Clem. And he goes, Howdy, what can I do for you? Do you for? Hey, Clem, uh, every shake, please. Hot towel? Yes, please. Where are you going back to? To uh, Beeskin Land. Mm -hmm. And them as well? Yep. He, has, he indicates uh, the four barber chairs. Ready for some sound loss? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, before, before we jump in, uh, guys, I have a card uh, called Lock It In that we can... I don't know if anybody else has victory cards. I have two victory cards. Two victories? Cards. Oh, shit. What? Yeah. I have a victory and a victory, but it, uh, oh, wait, uh, no, one is victory, straight up victory, and one is victory prestige module. Lock them both in. I don't know what you guys are going to do yet, yeah. so. So, but, but I was thinking about playing that now, so we could lock it in. Lock yeah, those in, at least. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Looking one in two. You should be at one card left when you get done with that. Right, yeah, that's I'm I'm uh, working on that right now. Okay, is there? Oh, let's just put it in this area over wow. here. Wow, that's a good hand. Uh, I can't even. Okay, well, stupid thing. Did you get rid of the map that was on the screen, Logan? Uh huh. Okay, good. All right. Uh, and victory. I will just put this. I don't know how to make this. Anyway, I'll just put them all here so we'll know what's going on. Cool. Anybody else, and anybody can play victory cards under lock it in. If any of you have a victory, you can put it on there now, and it's it's immune to whatever until the end yeah, of the. Yeah, I don't have anything. 